Hey everyone, rather go here and here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Holy Fury. And I've realized what I need to be doing. I need to be conquering Mercia. They only have one Duke title at their top level, so if I conquer Mercia and usurp that duchy, this will break into individual counts and I can just conquer all of them. Now admittedly, I said much the same thing about Strathclyde and that didn't end how I expected it to. Germany owns this somehow, some way. Before I conquer Mercia, I need to hand out Wessex. And looking at the Kingdom of England, once I'm done with all of this, I'll probably have formed the Kingdom of England. So it doesn't matter who I give this to, because eventually they're going to be going under this merchant republic who will become the King of England. Here's an ambitious, zealous, strong girl with 22 stewardship. She seems like a fine pick to hand over Wessex to. Oh right, I can't actually give her Wessex the duchy, but I can just give her all the titles individually, I guess. So, Magnus is doing his best to ruin everything. He's given one of my bloodline carriers a duchy, which wasn't the plan. Why would you do this to me? Uh, we're actually already on her kids, so... Okay, they're all at my court. We're fine. She's doing her best to ruin this, but it hasn't actually ruined anything. So, on the subject of the uh, bloodline program that I'm running, we have Ashina and Attila on to one kid. For whatever inexplicable reason, this kid's only end up with two of the three bloodlines that Thordor founded, but I'm going to worry about that later. Okay, so Katarina's actually already pregnant, even though she just came of age. Hopefully we'll get a girl, and we'll only be 16 years off of getting more bloodline work done. Otherwise, we'll just keep waiting, as we've been doing all game. And it looks like Thorfinn's host didn't actually get anything done. Well, he tried. Oh, and another fun thing I should probably mention. The Irish band, having a bit of trouble. Italy, on the other hand, Italy is doing quite well for itself. They've somehow they've somehow made the Umiyats into a tributary state. It's just a train wreck. Nothing in this game is right. Everything is fucked, and I don't know why any of it is the way that it is. Also, it looks like by the time we get to the Far East, it'll just be, like, three solid nations over here. Anyway, enough beating around the bush, it's time to declare war on Mercia, and then everything that comes after we shatter them. Okay, so three people here are returning favors to Aletta, who is going to vote now. And Ahala is going to vote according to highest diplomacy, which is going to be Magnus, because Magnus has 24 diplomacy. I don't actually know if it's a tie, whether or not it goes in my favor, so I'm just going to try to pass this to see what happens. Because it should end up being 4-4 four to four with me voting for it, and I don't know how that works. Anyway, it's time for war. I'm sure that unlike all the previous wars, this one's actually going to be close, right? It turns out that Curl I was just complaining about being granted a high chiefdom died immediately. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I still have their kids, it's fine. Uh, is that still true, or have they moved? Shit, it's a boy. It's a weak boy, too. Uh, so this is useless for my breeding program, unfortunately. Well, SimSam is still in my court, so I guess this doesn't matter. I feel like if they have new I I don't know why he's still in my court. And do I have full control over who he marries now? It looks like I still do. That's a little bit on the weird side, but whatever, I'll take it. Okay, so that law did in fact get rejected. I clicked through it immediately though, like an idiot. All right, don't I have some armies coming back on my Eastern side? I should really be paying attention to those guys, shouldn't I? They're totally safe, it's fine. New Prince Mara Wales, don't really know anything about the man. He appears not to marry my kids. I mean, go for it, I don't feel like listening to this constantly. Oh, man, there are just so many messages. Just... Oh, great, so Garter became a drunk. Maybe people will vote for him now. There are so many... Con I don't even know what that one was. There's just a constant stream of messages during this war. 
Yep, we're gonna play as this one now. Just gonna bounce our ears around until I give up. It's it's ridiculous playing at this at 4x speed. I can't really tell what's going on because there are so many C's matches at all times. Apparently my wife, uh, you know, has a bit of the cancer. It happens. I really need to stop slapping the teeth out of my courtiers. It's kind of a bad play. I don't know, there's not a lot to say about this war. Like, Mercia could theoretically fight me. They're just choosing not to. Yeah, here we go. We might actually be doing something now. Nia's going over here instead. Well, I'll get back to you if they ever decide to, you know, fight me. I think he's going to try to join up here and I'm just going to ambush him. No, he's actually leaving. I've got no idea. I'm going to push this guy off because, like, whatever he's doing, I want none of it. Oh, wait a second. Why is York independent? Oh, hey, it's Chief Noopa the Conqueror. Apparently, at some point, he sees independence. I mean, that's sort of my end goal here, so I'm not upset about it. It's just mildly inconvenient. We're going to start moving over in case something dumb happens. Oh, hey, speaking of Chief Noopa the Conqueror, we're arm wrestling him. And we're winning, of course. Like, how would we ever lose? So I think most of their land siege were only at 18%. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going badly for Pannonia. A little bit rough for them. But I mean, I'm totally safe, and that's what I care about. What? Are you trying to white peace me? Uh, no, he's not actually trying to white peace. You're only at 38%. This seems insanely early for a surrender. All right, though. Now, bad news, though. The war is nowhere near done. Oh, they tried to revoke York during my war with them. That's ridiculous. Well, in that case, I'm just going to declare the only one... I can't holy war you? You're fucking pagan German... Oh my god, he's reformed Germanic, so I can't do this. I have to wait until Mercia finishes their war to do this. What a hassle. Could you guys hurry it up? Oh hey, check it out. We have the ability to make the Kingdom of England now. So yeah, we'll do that. And permitted, we're allowed to. I'm going to give this woman everything in Mercia so that Mercia and Wessex will be a double duke. And now if I'm allowed to, I'm going to give this guy the Kingdom of England. Awesome. Fantastic. So now... That makes my vassals over here look a lot less silly, right? Yeah, just have Ireland, Wales, and England. Everything is good. Two of those three are actually merchant republics. How are they doing, by the way? Eh, to be honest, neither of them are doing particularly great. None of the merchant republics really are. That's not that true. Venice is doing alright, and the one the Africans made is doing really well for itself. But, uh, Genoa, Amalfi, and the ones I've made are pretty mediocre, let's be real. How hard would it really be to conquer Rome? I think that's a thought for another day. It's kind of far off right now. Like, literally, it's far away. I'd have to be in boats for a while to get there. I don't know what to do. Mercia's sick defensive strategy revoking a title that they couldn't possibly you know, revoke, and then going into a civil war so that I can't usurp their fucking title. I don't like this song and dance that we've been playing. Why the hell do people keep doing this to me? Why can't I usurp things if you're at war? That's ridiculous. Like, oh, sorry, I'm at war. My vassal just revolted. Who could have, <laughs> who could have foreseen this outcome? Hey, you. Do you want to live? No? 
I mean, those are some convincing reasons, but you're still gonna die, right? You know how this ends. This is super inefficient, but I'm just gonna let time tick until this fucking war ends, because I cannot be bothered. Yeah, we can pillage France while we wait. That's better. Oh no, I'm dying! Apparently they've got gout. To the sickly fool, he knows. Oh, what a hassle. I, I keep having all these grand plans and instead I just have to go back home and pillage France. Um, I mean, screw it, cut off my penis. Oh, that, that was fine! He didn't do anything crazy. He didn't rip off my face or cut off my eye. Didn't castrate me. He just actually did doctory stuff. I mean, he might have he might have given me mercury, but whatever, it worked. Is France actually trying to stop me, or are they just messing around? I'm not really sure if Dag deserves to be the hero of the Wolf Warriors. I guess he does. Like, he is a trusting drunkard with gout, but he also has 44 martial and 135 personal combat. He'd actually be at 165 if he weren't a drunkard with gout. Oh well, one way or another, we're the leader of the Wolf Warriors now. This kid's going into diplomacy, no questions asked. I mean, honestly... I'm just going to challenge this guy for leadership because I can easily kill him. That's my entire rationale. Oh, that was easy. You know, it happens. Now, I don't actually, like, care about these men I just got. Oh, there are people here? Congratulations, men I just got. You have a new job. It's specifically dying fighting that army. Is Thorbrander mine? No, it's not. This is someone else's fault. Take the gold, as always. Take the gold, as always. York is still not back in the fold. Get it together, Mercia. France has finally decided that maybe they should consider stopping me. Also, I've realized that maybe I should consider putting real leaders in charge of this army. Now, that's a lot of dudes continuing to come here. Also, as soon as I left, a 1,000 levy got raised. So I guess now we're just fighting. Okay, so this battle is one, it's looking like. They're about to get two and a half thousand reinforcements, but we should still win that. Yeah, I think we can just ignore this from here. This should definitely be a win for us. Um, it's actually not that clear. Yeah, they managed to lose. That's just embarrassing, guys. Oh my god, they still aren't fucking done up here. Oh my god, guys, please. I'm just gonna go conquer someone else. It's ridiculous. Every time I do anything in England, they're like, sorry, we've got some crazy alternate route to go down. You could usurp Mercia, but unfortunately our revolts are having revolts, and you just can't usurp us if we're at war. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go fucking conquer Rome. I'm done with this shit. See, I could go to war with Pomerania, but I really don't want to. Pomerania kind of sucks. It's a lot of effort. It's far away. Okay, there's another host in my land. This one's also not my fault. How is a man who's in a coma leading a host? I feel like that should disqualify him from being an adventurer, you know? So, this war is actually 95% in favor of Chief Nuffa. I just need them to stop wasting my time and let me do this. 
we finally turned in that boat which had 1500 gold on it. Look, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll put down the revolt myself. Just out of the goodness of my heart. You're welcome. Finally. Jesus, guys. I almost had to go conquer Rome because of that shit. Now, we can usurp the fucking title. And oh, hey, look, they're all independent now. And uh, since you guys didn't previously exist, you logically wouldn't be in defensive packs against me, right? That is indeed correct. I guess I should just dial all of them now. So, two different vassals are already declaring Congress for Wiltshire. I don't think I need to handle it myself. I can only take one of this man's counties. I'm going to take the one in the south. Apparently that was tyrannical. Alright, counselors. I'm sorry. You gotta fucking go. Who's doing this? I'm gonna guess it's the Queen of Ireland who has convinced every single member of my council to vote as a malcontent. I mean, really, I just don't need malcontents. You can all fuck off. Anyway, back to declaring all of these wars. Conquest of Bedford. Conquest of Northampton. It's so nice. It's just not tyrannical. Because why would it be tyrannical? Conquest of whatever this is. Oh, wait. This one's streets breaking. Never mind. And we're just going to force fossilization on York. And I guess we're off to the races. Let's do it. Oh! Uh, hold up. Weren't you important? Oh, your wife is already dead, though. So Sim Sam and Hrothgar need to handle the eugenics program on their own. Because this is all we're getting in terms of usable kids. So Katarina needs to have a daughter, then. Because we don't have any females from this side. That's not too big of an ask. It should be fine. Oh, no! Oh, she's dead! He was my... I think only living siege leader, now that I actually think about it. Rip. This guy did a lot of sieging for me. I'm going to miss him. It's sort of bullshit that we lost one of our best commanders in a battle where we outnumbered them 6 to 1, but whatever. The one upside of all these wars is that we can assault a lot of this down pretty much immediately since they've done it for us. And that is Force Fossilization complete on this war. Which is honestly probably the most important war that we had. Oh, wait. Yes, my Vice Royal died, so I got all the land back. I need to manage that. So the good news, the system works. Bad news, I messed it up last time. Hopefully it'll take less work this time. I had to scroll down quite a ways to find a spy master that likes me. In fact, um, they don't exist. This man has 21 intrigue, and he'll join my court, so I'm gonna invite him over to be my spy master. I'm gonna send him money so he doesn't try to kill me. And then I'm gonna send him over to Constantinople, where he will promptly die. Alright, so I'm going to make this man into my vice royal. He seems reasonable to me. Alright, so that's everything handed over to my new vice roy, who has no kids and no ability to produce kids. And now we're going to head back to conquering what's left of England. It's weird actually sieging people out and not just pressing the assault button. In fact, I'm going to press the assault button. I hate this. Only a little bit, though. I'm not too big on hitting the 879 assault. Oh, anyone in my jail want out? 25 for 749. That sounds good to me. Must have a couple of dukes in there. Alright, so that's 100% on another one of our wars. 
Looks like we took Oxford there. So I'll walk this down to Sussex. And no one's got time for this. Just just press the assault button. You can't be bothered, right? Actually sieging people? Oh, it takes forever. And I'm just going to give all this shit to the current King of England, because I can't be bothered to hand it out myself. And I'm putting it under him anyway, so this will make them like me more. And having given him pretty much all of England, he's able to forget that I'm a, you know, minus 280 tyrants. It happens. Sometimes you commit kind of sort of a lot of tyranny because you weren't paying attention. Or because you didn't care. Like that one time that I just executed my viceroy's children in front of her. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that one, really. That was a little bit cold, even for me. Like, I could have just let her be king... I could have just let her be queen. It would have been fine. But nah. That's not how it went down. Yet another war won. Congratulations, Mr. King. I'm sorry, Mr. Prince Mayor. You can now have Bedford. Oh, great. We've got a hunchback now. We're just one inbred kid away from having had every single bad genetic defect in our dynasty. Why is your sister in my jail? Oh my god, I can imprison the king. <laughs> why is, Why can't I just do this? I mean, sure. I don't even know who she is or why she's in my jail. You let one person go and immediately there's peasant revolts. Come on. I want to be honest, this really doesn't feel like it's my problem. Can... Can all of you just do it for me? This doesn't feel like I'm supposed to handle it. Offer peace, enforce demands, and that is the last bit of England conquered. Or the last bit that we can conquer right now. This is cruise breaking. Italy's kind of big, and Germany's kind of big. But except for that, we've done pretty much everything. I guess we should head back north and conquer Pictland before we leave, though. Do we have a truce with them? We do not have a truce with them. All right, we're going to go conquer Pickland a little bit. So I have at least four different kings, all who agreed that they're going to deal with these thousand men. I can only assume they're telling the truth and they'll actually handle it. And we're going to declare war for, uh, NC Health? I've got no idea how this is pronounced, but it's three counties instead of two, and that's all the reason I need. I'm just going to have everyone get off the boat in one go and assault everything down. Hey, I finally groomed an heir. What's he looking like? What's she looking like? Um. Mm. I could have groomed them a little bit better, I'm going to be honest. It's fine. We'll vote for someone else. Guess we should run the ship around while we're conquering everything, huh? Oh, man. We just have a lot of kids coming through that are just underwhelming all the way through. I'm just going to let it... This strategy of letting it take once and then assaulting seems really effective. Uh, sure. 30 gold is nothing to me. You could have said, give me 30 gold and I'll do literally nothing, and I'd have still clicked the box to see if you were lying. Oh, my God. Even more peasants... Fuck, fine. I'll move my retinues. Oh, hey, we finally handled it. Good job, boys. I may have lost all faith in you before you got there, but it's fine. You still did a good job. And this last assault should be 100%. What other land do you have? Oh, this thing. So I... I don't have words for how amazing this is. What's the name of my marshal? I want to remember this man. We are all total red cheeks, huh? Okay. I gave him 30 gold so that he could experiment and come up with new military tech. And this is what he made. 
A large steel-plated chariot was constructed, propelled by men inside, pulling it forward, directed by a commander, peering out from a revolving turret mounted on top. This vehicle also had several ballistas firing through arrow slits. It was unimaginably slow and expensive, so we can't actually use it, but we sure learned a lot in making what was essentially an 850 AD tank that couldn't move or do anything at all, really. I love this man. He's like, alright, so what if we just pulled a house filled with ballistas through the battlefield? That was essentially his strategy. Easy war, good game. I think the rest of the world was helping. I honestly just stopped paying attention at some point. And I'm gonna give that Jarl we were just talking about the land we've conquered. Which we've renamed to this completely unpronounceable thing. Suthre Yar? I don't really actually know. And uh, I think I'm just gonna truce break to get the Kingdom of Pictland now. In fact, I am. See the. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see the realm prosper. In fact, I might be planning to break the truce immediately. <sighs> Alright. I'm sorry, Pictland, but I kind of want your land. I won't. More specifically, I just really want to form or steal two kingdoms in one episode. 2,000 prestige is kind of a lot, but oh well. How's that levy already back up to like 500? That seems really fast. Also, uh... Oh no! Oh wait. Never mind, Margarita's the one who killed her. I thought Margarita died. Of course Margarita's the only one. What was I thinking? She's one of the best family members this dynasty has. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's all of Pixland dead. Which gives us the ability to make Pixland. Again. Except this time it's mine. So congratulations, Jarl Total Red Cheeks. You made an amazing medieval tank. And in return, you get Scotland. Congrats. And we're totally going to see the realm prosper, right? We're not going to douse somebody at the start of next video. I'd say we made some damn fine progress today, though. We have kicked everyone but Germany and Italy off of the British Isles. Ignore Derby. They don't exist. They probably won't exist for long, at the very least. Somebody should conquer them. Oh, hey, there's this guy, too. He's so tiny that I couldn't see him really over his crest. I just thought it was somebody's capital. I'm calling it here, though. This has been Rather Incoherent. I hope you've had a good time. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that shilly channel growth nonsense. I'll see you around.